You're always afraid, in, in one way or another. It's either you're afraid of messing up the shot, if you miss the trick or something that might look easy, or you, you make a mistake and fall, or, or the mountains make you fall. During the down days in Alaska, it's kind of like a mental game, you know, because uh, you never know when the next window is going to be for, to have the good weather. So I spent a lot of time in the caravan looking at, at footage of the mountains and uh, trying to have a game plan, get to know the, the runs, how big cliffs were, how they get into the different lines, knowing the names, because it's Every, everything out there has a different name. So it's kind of like taking control of the, the mountains up there, you know, you, you look out for a run, you do it, and then you name it. One year ago, I experienced what the mountain can be like. I uh, got caught in an avalanche. It's just everywhere, it's powder everywhere, and I see nothing. And all of a sudden I stop and the snow stops with me and I'm stuck, I'm trapped by the mountain. And the snow is hard as concrete. I can't move. It just became clear to me that I can't control uh, the mountain at all. And I can plan as much as I want and prepare as much as I want, but sometimes bad things can happen anyways. from the base before the helicopter even starts. You maybe do a short flyby to see if the snow looks like we were hoping and the, the light is good. And if it is, we sit down either on opposite on a different mountain or below on the glacier and look at the mountain. Yeah, these mountains, they go through a special kind of cycle to get the snow to stick on those steep faces and form those spines in a perfect way. And each year is different. Yeah, you just have to adapt with that. I mean, the mountains are almost like living nature, you know, it's never the same. It's not the same the first day we get out on a trip until the last day even. In one storm, it could end up you know, one meter of powder on top of everything you saw before the storm, so. Super variable. I'm almost more nervous when I step out of the helicopter than when I actually ski because it's so loud and you know that you can't fall because it has consequences. When you're up there on the top of your run, maybe you look at the last time on your phone of the run to really, really make sure you're, you have the right plan. And it's all the changes when you stand on top because stuff could be so much bigger or different angles or harder to get on or yeah, everything is, is different. You know it's going to be a pretty scary run. There's never really a 
a moment where you're like super relaxed and feel like you're 100% control. What I felt sometimes when I was out skiing, I couldn't really control my thoughts and I sometimes stopped or had trouble skiing my lines, basically because they all reminded me of what had happened the year before. I know that there's a lot of risks involved in this sport. There's no doubt and, and to many people it looks almost stupid to do what we're doing. It's always about the risk management. I wouldn't choose a line where, where if I would fall, I would die. Because I don't want to get hurt or I, I, don't, I definitely don't want to die. So when I choose a line, if, if something would uh, go bad, I would still have a lot of good chances of, of coming out alive. We were experienced a pretty low snow year in most of the most of the world really. Canada and US had really bad snow and the Alps as well in some regions. So going to Alaska this year was quite important to get really good footage and a good story out. We spent a lot of time uh, waiting around in Alaska because the weather is not reliable at all and there are long periods of waiting time and the problem with the waiting is actually the time in itself that we have too much time but we can't do that much because we need to be ready to go out and ski when the weather clears i'm not very good in, in taking it easy always looking for for new challenges or new new ways or optimize the next the next move in my head that you know i'm always looking up at the mountains and trying to vision visual the the next ski day seeing that face my first thought was just it's not possible it's too steep, the consequences are just too big, and I see no exits. I just started laughing at Henrik because I figured, you know, he must be kind of crazy to, to see the potential of this face.
a long trip like, like there normally are when you go to Alaska, you're pretty tired mentally. It's been a, it's been a fight, you know, you're out there, you, you're skiing the steepest and coolest stuff there is in the world pretty much. And you're just mentally exhausted. In my world, life without mountains would be kind of boring. I kind of find myself thinking that there is so much more to explore and I can do that now. I'm ready to take them on. I can't wait to come back. You're, you're half happy that you came out of it not injured, but at the same time you're always, or I'm look, always looking for the next, the next level of what I can do.